Nape's Needle, found on the southern slopes of Great Gable in the Western Nape District, has been argued to be the birthplace of English rock climbing. Yeah, view! Yes! Yeah, I think I got that on video as well. The on-site solo by Walter Hasker Smith in June 1886 of the Wasdale Crack, now graded HS, marked the point of mountaineers climbing routes in their own right, instead of just to reach mountain summits. Nowadays, the Needle is more renowned for its extreme polish, lack of anchors and its down-climb descent with little to no gear. Here you can see a climber in glorious conditions on the Needle, our own trip, however, was slightly different. Windy. Rocking up on a windy, damp bank holiday Saturday, we decided to have a go at two routes. Myself and Gramps tackling the horrendously polished off wit, with Mike and Roger taking the horrendously unprotected arret. Both routes graded hard severe to take the same second pitch to the top. For the start of the second pitch, you must firstly step out onto the exposed flank before making a big mantle to gain a standing position on the horizontal break. Failing that, you can just ape the hell out of it. You must then slip left along this break until you're out on the north face of the needle. Then grope for holes, curse the polish and mantle onto the smooth top out. <laughs> Then pose for the obligatory photo. Whoa! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Bee laying involves lassoing a notch in the nape's shoulder below you and sending a loop down for your seconder to then clip into your original anchor. All in all, a little bit shit. After belaying your seconder back down, the worst bit of the climb begins. After undoing your anchor, you must then down climb the route through the polish while back climbing mantles until you can then safely add off. <laughs>